Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis, and in this short video, we're going to look at the uh, the the double angle formulae and how to prove those. A student asked me this question. Just a quick one: Why I'm wearing a toque and some dress wear? It's actually sleep day at my school today, which means that it's a non-uniform day, and we can come in in dress down, pay two dollars for cho sleeping children around the world, and collecting bed kits. And we meant to wear pajamas. However, I took a twist on that and we have a winter camping trip here in Canada where we go to Tomogamy and we winter camp and your pyjamas are really warm clothes. So I'm wearing winter Tomogamy pyjamas, which is um, base layers and fleeces and toques. So here we go, cos 2a. So there are three formulas for cos 2a. And how we get them is we look at the formula above for cos a plus b and we swap the b for an a. So we do cos 2a is cos of a plus a. And of course, cos a plus a is cos a. Instead of doing cos b, I write another cos a minus sine a. And of course, instead of sine b, I write sine a. So what I end up there is an equation cos squared a minus sine squared a. And there's one equation for cos 2a cos squared a minus sine squared a. However, for cosine 2a, there are actually three formulas, and we can get the other two by considering the Pythagorean identities. Uh, these come from sine squared a plus cos squared a is 1. You just rearrange them to get cos squared is 1 minus sine squared, and sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. So if I look at equation 1, and we put this badger into equation 1, so instead Instead of writing a cos squared a, I write 1 minus sine squared a in replacement of that cos squared a. Don't forget, I've still got the 1 minus sine squared a. I end up with uh, a new equation for cos 2a, 1 minus sine squared 2a. And there's my second possible equation for cos 2a. Now, of course, if I go back to my equation 1 here, um, cos squared a minus sine squared a, and if I use my other equation, uh, 1 minus cos squared, so this time keep the cos squared a minus, and put it in a bracket because you want to be careful with your negatives, swap the sine squared for a 1 minus cos squared a, careful with the bracket there, easy to make a mistake, and what we get is cos squared a minus 1, and then negative times the negative makes a positive cos squared a, and hence I get 2 cos squared a minus 1, and that's my third equation. So we end up with three equations for cos 2a. Now in actual fact, Number two and three are actually often more useful in calculus, certainly, than number one. Number one can be useful when you're proving trig identities and other things, but in, if you want to integrate sine squared a, you can rewrite it as cos 2a using this formula here, and then you can integrate sine squared a. Equally the same if you want to integrate cos squared a, there's no way of doing it, but you can rearrange it in terms of cos 2a, and you can integrate cos 2a. So very useful for calculus. Okay, let's have a look at the other two, which are a little bit more straightforward. So uh, sine 2a comes from the formula for sine a plus b. So sine a plus b, if you remember, is sine cos plus cos sine with the AB going in the same order. So basically, what we have there, so what we have there is if we swap the B for an A again, it pops out. So sine 2A is equal to sine A plus A. So swap the B for an A, and we get sine A cos A, because we've swapped the B for an A, plus cos A sine A. Now interestingly, sine A times cos A is the same as sine A times cos A. So what I've really got is 2 sine A cos A's. And there we have it. There's the formula for sine 2A. And there's only one of them. So it's the cos 2A formula where you've got the 3. Now, tan 2A, that comes from the tan A plus B formula. So if you remember the tan A plus B formula, it's tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. And I'm sure you're getting the hang of this now. You could try this yourself. Just swap the B for an A. So tan 2A equals tan A plus tan A over 1 minus tan A tan A, which I can write straight away as tan squared A, because tan A times tan A. And equally on top there, I've got a 2 tan A over 1 minus tan squared A. And there we have it. There's how to prove the double angle formulae. Um, 
for cos 2a where there are three of them, uh, sine 2a and tan 2a. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please go on to Sleeping Children Around the World. Great charity, $35, get to bed kit. Um, that's what we're raising money for today. So if you want to donate to that amazing charity, Sleeping Children Around the World. Uh, so if you just do a search for Sleeping Children Around the World, um, you can have a look um, at that great charity. And um, $35 gets a bed kit for someone which can make a real difference to their lives. Thank you very much. Have a great day.